We appreciate it. It's a big help for us. Thank you for this. Welcome back to Here's Next Door. Thank you all for joining us today. We really appreciate you. We just hit that 60,000 mark, for, so we're on mark to hit that 100K by the end of the year. Today's video, I'm back in the office. We're just doing a follow-up on a video that we released two weeks ago. This is a follow-up on the gear that we sent over to the Philippines. Uh, this is a company that is all volunteer. It looks like they have you know, a handful of members that are struggling with gear. They have a fire truck that... Um, kind of small compared to what we use here in America. And it looks like it's got a pretty large tank, maybe a 250, maybe 500 gallon tank, almost like a brush truck around here with a little pump off the back. They're doing some fantastic work. They sent us a bunch of pictures in regards to some of the work they've been doing, even with some mutual aid. And you know, they're doing a fantastic job with what they have. As I look through a lot of these pictures, and I, there's probably over 100 pictures, you guys aren't going to see them all, but I noticed that in the, some of their training, it looks like they only have currently four sets of fire gear, and that fire gear is more wilderness gear or even just rescue gear rather than structural firefighting gear. So the donation that we're doing is going to be very, very important for these guys uh, to stay safe. They sent me over a small video clip here in regards to a fire they're fighting. It looks like it's in a um steel mill of some kind it's underneath some big steel plates if i kind of look off to the side here there are a couple of stacks of plates but looking at the the environment that these guys are working in the hazardous areas that these guys are working in it is extremely important to get these guys the gear that they need to keep themselves safe i noticed that hardly any of them have air packs uh, so maybe in the future we can work on getting air packs over there, but uh, many of them, they do have helmets, a uh, handful of them, you know, have turnout gear or at least truck or at least uh, wilderness gear. Uh, but I'm also looking at some of these when they're showing up, they're showing up on mopeds. They're showing up in personal vehicles. They're showing up on the fire truck and riding on the fire truck. looks like they're just, you know, sitting on top of the tank. They got one up front. They got a couple off back, you know, like we used to do in the old days where we used to hang off the truck. They're still doing that today in the Philippines. But even going to the calls, you know, these guys are showing up in their street gear, you know, their t-shirts, their shorts. So it is very, very important for us to continue to try to get this done. We did set up a GoFundMe page. Thank you to the paramedic coach for you know stepping up to the plate. He not only donated the first $500 to sit in that first set of gear, but he also put into the GoFundMe page another $500. We matched that here at uh, Heroes Next Door, and we've had a, a number of others also donate. Currently the funds are looking at, let me check it here to see where we're up to date. We are up to $1,293 in the GoFundMe account. Uh, so we're definitely in the process of getting that money that we can send it over and uh, get those, get that set of gear over there. Remember, we got 25 more sets of gear to send. So this is a significant amount. One set of gear costs us 500. We are in negotiations with DHL. We're looking at other uh, resources. You guys were awesome. Many of you reached out, sent me emails in regards to different ideas, different companies that are doing this. I am pursuing those. So hopefully we can come up with an idea to cut the cost or um, collaborate with another company. Uh, but we really want to get this gear to these guys. They're doing some fantastic work out there. They do a lot of training. Looks like they have both men and women on their team. Uh, they do a ton of training, just like we do here in the United States. Uh, and they're doing the best they, get, they can for what they got. So we really appreciate you guys uh, stepping up to the plate. Thank you for your donations. Continue to donate. It's at the GoFundMe uh, page. I will put a link to that uh, page down below and uh, continue to help us out. Not only that, we do have some other resources that we're working with. If you, you know, help us out on the channel by purchasing any uh, uh, merchandise from our channel, which is uh, at watchheroesnextdoor.com. You can get yourself a sweatshirt, t-shirts. We got a couple of different uh, decals out there. Uh, we really appreciate it. Remember, in our mission statement for Heroes Next Door, we take 10% off the top of any revenue that we make, whether that's from ad revenue or that's from a sponsorship. 10% of that money goes directly into a fund for these kind of projects. This is our first of many. So we really are trying to start this off right. And with you guys doing this, 
we should be able to get there. So I'm gonna take just a second here. We're gonna, I'm gonna stop talking. Bear with me, take a look, and uh, I'll be back with you in just a moment. Hello to Bureau's Next Door. Thank you so much and to the Westwood Fire Company. Thank you for this donation to us. We are looking forward for the next donation, sir. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. It's a big help for us. Thank you for this. They're doing what they can, keeping their uh, village safe. Uh, but here in America, we have a lot of structures that are, you know, regulated. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of regulations on, you know, cables and wires. And, you know, as I'm just fingering through a lot of these pictures, uh, the hazardous conditions that these guys are put into uh, is something that we had, you know, way back in the day. You know, they are doing it. They are working with their community. They're getting the work done. And we really, really appreciate them. Uh, they sent us over a, one of their uh, logos. Uh, that's going to be going on the side of the truck or uh, on their patches. Uh, that's pretty cool to see. And the one thing I did notice is the gear that they have is kind of all over the place. I believe some of these pictures are with mutual aid, not just with their company. So the tan and the orange, and I think uh, one black set is their company. Yeah, with the 26 sets of gear from Westwood Fire Company that did the donation for us, they're gonna have more consistency across the board. So when they are doing a mutual aid with somebody, uh, they're gonna have accountability too. So that's very, very important here, You know, making sure your power levels are up and making sure where everybody is having a, a consistent set of gear uh, is really gonna make a big difference. Once again, this is Heroes Next Door. Thank you all for watching. This is short and sweet. We just wanted to kind of give you an update what's going on. Before I forget, hit that subscribe, hit that notification. We also now have a join button so you can get some of the behind the scenes things that are going on. We really appreciate it. Thank you for joining me on my lives on Friday nights. Uh, that's going really, really well. Uh, we appreciate all the input. We are working our way across America and the globe, so eventually we'll be coming to a town near you. Once again, help support us, buy some merchandise, uh, check out any of our affiliate links, and uh, go to the GoFundMe page because the community is all about you. Heroes Next Door is not about me. It's not about uh, you know the company itself. It's about you guys. You guys are the Heroes Next Door. We really appreciate it, and we're trying to do some good in the world. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you again next week.